so we have finally reached 900 subs it has been a long long way and we did it so for this 900 subs uh, special video we are going to rank all the 17 stages of Sino Challenge Champions Stadium we got um, this three stages from Aram, three stages from Bertha, three stages from Flint, four from Lucian, and four from Sinta. And all the Pokemon are listed uh, down below. Thanks to a uh, sus sussy person for making this for me. And yeah, we're gonna use this Pokemon Masters tool to go through every single stage and get a final ranking for all of them. So, I honestly, I don't know what to rank for all of these yet. So, I'm gonna like take a look at all of these and make sure I know the stages clearly and then give a ranking for myself. Obviously, you might agree, you might disagree because we have different sync plays. I do 13k points, you do only 10k, or maybe you do 7.5k. So, there's a difference already uh, with our personal ranking, but I'm gonna rank it with this here. Free is going to be the easiest. Meh is like a middle tier, tough is rather hard, but it can be uh, easy at the same time. And Welp is almost very, very difficult, very, very annoying. And delete it, which means too difficult, or it shouldn't be, it shouldn't even be in the stadium. Or it could have been a better design, but they didn't do it. So it might be like a disappointment for me. A real real disappointment. So let's start with Aaron. So for Aaron, uh, he has three Pokemon uh, being Heracross. I'm just gonna put here we've got Heracross, we've got Drapion, and we've got Vespiquin. So we're gonna rank the Heracross first because it's the first week. For Heracross, we take a look at the Fire Week stage here. Uh, you can see that it has some really good um, attack. And one thing you can do is actually to burn the Heracross so you can uh, reduce the attack of uh, the bug type. Sides of Pinsir and Scyther, a quick attack, highest power, dealing actually a lot of damage. And it has some decent HP as well. Taking a look at moves, it has a Mega Horn, a very strong move, but good thing is it can miss. But I think it has like pinpoint accuracy, so like it doesn't miss that often. We got Brutal Swing, not doing too much, but if your if, if your Striker is too frail, it might be a problem. We got Pin Missile with no quarter, as you can see, so it always hits 5 times, so it's um, 80 base. X Defense all are based on the defense, but your Reshiram, your Leon, your Ho-Oh is Special Attacker. Oh yeah, yeah ho is physical, but still, doesn't really matter because you crit anyway. We got Condition Shield, preventing the burn, and X attack or raising the attack uh, after the sink. So, I think the stage is like decent. We can also take it at the size where it has ground moves only for the pincer. High horsepower does quite a, quite a lot of damage, and Bulldoze Earthquake uh, attacking all, which is scary. It also has X attack all to boost the pincer. For the Scyther though, a quick, a quick attack. X scissors, um, Swift can hit hard and it can do AoE damage as well, which is rather scary. But I think this stage overall isn't too difficult. I think it's a meh here. I've I can be I believe some people might struggle with this, especially with those who do not have silver in the future. Uh, oh, everyone has silver, but the expanded thing or the EX thing is a different thing. Um, not everyone has a Leon. Not everyone has any N. Ho Oh can be real good. And that you can use, but it's a between between free and man. I'm gonna put in man here because if you get real unlucky, you can get crits. Your striker might die very quickly. But over, I think it's pretty easy. On to the next stage, which is Vesper Queen, the beast here, uh, the queen here. I meant uh, we've got a really high HP uh, Vesper Queen here with pretty good attack and pretty good special attack. Uh, but the thing is, it has. Central entry, which raises the defense by by two times when entering the battle, which means you cannot use the physical attackers, which most of the time you will be using physical attackers such as Enzekrom, uh, Alessa and Zipstrika, 
uh, Wagner, some people use. So you have to use the classic, let's have Moga, uh, New Year Wagner with a Lectivire. So, this stage is decently hard if you don't have a good uh, special striker. But since the since the Renner really saves the day, even my Palkia can do this off type. But not everyone has this idea, and it could cause a really real trouble for people. And people have rage at this thing because it has heal order. Heal order restores the user's HP by approximately fifty percent, which can actually bring it back to full, which is not good. One thing, one one downside about this stage is actually Vespergoon and Aaron does not use any training moves besides cool right after the sink. So you can do infinite flinch and this Vespergoon can never attack you. Air Stash can flinch, Swift takes, does AOE damage, not so good. Attack order is really strong and it can crit you as well if you got Vigilance. The glass of the side of only water moves. Money water hits everyone, but it can miss, which is a good thing. Liquidation and Razor Shield can lower the, the defense, which is scary. And the Vessel Queen, no, sorry, the Mask Queen. Air Slash to flinch. Uh, it also has X accuracy, also. Air Slash cannot flinch here, and Razor Shield cannot miss as well. Air Carter can crit, can do AoE damage. Air Slash with a chance to flinch, which is not so good. Um, I think overall this stage is just, just real hard, but I don't think it's too hard. It's it, it's like impossible. It's like it is it isn't impossible, but if you don't have a good electric physical striker or you don't have have a it's hard. if you don't have a good electric special striker or a special striker like Sing Serena, you're actually screwed here. And this stage is really annoying. I think it's actually here. I think it's well, but it's not tough. It can be really difficult for me and many people as well. Got Drapion as well, not a bug type anyway. It's a dark strike, it's a dark type actually, dark poison. We're gonna take a look at um, the skills first for uh, Drapion. With clear power of 5 and clear sync up 5, which means you need weather to deal with the stage, or it's gonna do 15% more, uh, which is not good. Uh, weather, we got any Raihan, uh, you can use Maxi, you can use. Um, whoever, you can use Hail, Sandstorm, uh, Hail, Sandstorm, Sun, Rain. There are a lot of options here, but some people just don't have these options, unfortunately. So this is one thing that makes the stage rather hard. Second of all, it's a ground weak stage, which means, ground weak stage, which means uh, it's hard to deal with because some people might not have a good ground striker. But thank goodness we have Bertha, which is um, a spotlight, which you can get anytime. But that's actually rather good, but not everyone has again. We can take it and it moves here. <clears throat> Crunch has a 20% chance of lowering the defense. We'll cross poison. 10% uh, chance to leave the target poison. Fin attack never misses. X speed all. Cool right. Physical shield. So if you can do this pre sync, I think you're pretty good because it has fanfare too, which can raise its attack to plus 4 at max. And Crunch can lower the defense, which is not good. And cross poison can poison, not good either. Take a look at a Salazzle with only fire type moves. Heat wave can burn, uh, flame furrow can burn. X special defense all really doesn't matter because I think all the ground moves except earth power is special in this uh, or physical in this game doesn't really matter. For the Salazzle though, no, sorry, for the Orbok, it also has crunch and poison jab, which again lowers the defense can poison you and rock side which can flinch which is not good so one last thing about the stage is all of them have clear power of five so if you don't have weather up the sides themselves can do a lot of damage as well so that's something you have to put in mind when dealing with this stage i would say um it's not too difficult. I think it's here. It's tough. If you don't have a weather user, I think it's almost there. So like, I'm gonna make this to like, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Okay, let's go on to the next one, which is um, Bertha. Bertha, we got Nino King. We got um, Pipaldon, and we got. 
Rhyperia. Sign it off with Rhyperia here. Um, Steel Week stage, first of all. Uh, many people like to use Kimono Grimsley because Kimono Grimsley can deal a lot of damage, but unfortunately it's weak to ground. So Kimono Grimsley is not really suggested here. Second of all, it has... <coughs> My apologies. Um, I think it has... The size of Wise Entry 3. So... You cannot... You, it's, it's harder to use Raihan here, but it's fine to use um, this kind of... It's fine to use a Steel Beam on the Rhyperior, but not too good on the sides. So maybe consider not using Raihan here. But moves from uh, Bertha here, we got Stomp which can flinch, High Horse Power can miss, which is a good thing. And it has Earthquake, which is not good. So Earthquake hits everyone and hits really hard. And you can get screwed very very easily with Earthquake. X attack or raising an attack, it also has fanfare too, so its attack can go really really high. You got quite something as well, boosting the crit rate of the side as well. So when they unleash the AoE moves, those moves can crit, which is scary. Another thing to note is it has Head Start 1. So instead of 6 turns, I'm going to just show parameters here. So usually you have like 6 turns. So it's a bit like you get 5 turns instead. And if you're going to choose um, this minus 2, so you only start with Three, which is rather scary actually because you lose turns to deal with uh, the Bertha and Rhyperi here. But one upside is you can guarantee or you have a high chance to not get hit by Earthquake, which is a good and bad thing depending on your team. Uh, but with the limited choices, like, well, we can use Steven, you can use um, Giovanni, you can use Gloria, but um, better not use uh, Raihan, better not use Grimsley. I think this stage is actually rather difficult. You're in top of Drapion. Needle King's next. For Needle King, it has high horse power, can miss, which is good. And man, there's a lot of a lot of things here. But it has pinpoint entry, so it cannot miss, which is a shame. Poison Tail has a chance to has a chance to poison, and it does not make crit land more easily. That's a mistake here. But if you get poison, it's not good. If you get parad paralyzed, it's not good. X defense are really depends on what you're using and if you crit or not. Earthquake can only be used once, and if you freeze the Needle King, Needle King will not will not use Earthquake, which is a good thing. But if Needle King uses this before the sink, your sides or your striker might die, depending. Of course, it can also raise the critical hit rate of sides. And it can raise its defense, especially defense of plus two due to the sandstorm. Take a look, it has Dust Kicker, Surging Sand, Sand Kicker, Sand Alert, and Sand Shoulder. So this thing's all about sand. So you, the best way to do this is to change the weather. For ice, you can use hail, you can use sun, rain, whatever, but not sand. Or you can make use of the sand to give advantage to yourself, depending. Another thing is, there's only um, less than freeze eight. But you got less than, less than flinch 5. For the sides here, got crunch, lowering the defense again. It has earthquake as well. Uh, you can also crunch again to lower the defense. And earthquake, not good again. For the needle queen though, it has poison jab, which can get you poison. Earthquake again. And yeah, earthquake hits hard even for the sides. And I think they also have sand of time, surging, surging sand, which it does more damage on the sand, which is not so good. And, Unless you change the weather. I think this is like also here. I think this stage is rather hard as well. Between man and tough. But with Candice. Because Candice is a free to play 6 star EX. Free to play 6 star EX. People want to like to use Candice more I just realized. So they can actually change the weather rather easily with Hell. Or we have many weather users as well. Depends on if you can deal with Draper you probably deal with Needle King. So it's depending. Man to tough. I'm putting it tough here. Hippowdon's next. So for Hippowdon, <coughs> we got um, Sand Tomb leaves the target trap. 
we also got high horsepower, which I think it does not miss because people entry again. Bite can cause a flinch. We got X attack all quite something, and team effort earthquake. So okay for this, for this thing. Let me just quickly check. Yep, standard at five. So the sandstorm extends. So when Bertha uses her sync move, this would be powered up by 1.5, which is not good. So that's one thing about this stage. The other thing is X attack all, which is scary. And center time, surge so stand five, sand kicker, sand alert, and sand shoulder all about sand again. Again, changing the weather is crucial here, a bit like the Drapion and a bit like the Draper in the New King stage. I think it's also relatively difficult, but with an extra OP uh, sync pair being Celebi. Celebi can guarantee a flinch every single time when you use the Grassy Glide. I think it's man now. Before Celebi, it's almost too tough. But now it's man. We're gonna check on Flint next. So for Flint, um, three stages again we've got a Mac Motor, Arcanine, and Infernape. Mac Motor, Arcanine. Infernape and Mac Motor. Arcanine first. For Arcanine, one good thing is people like to use Enit. Rock Slide, you can flinch, which is good. So, um, yeah, Rock Slide, you can go for the flinch. Um, so the sides can do more damage. But one thing about this stage, which is difficult, is the Torco actually. Because the Torco actually has. Sunburst. So, what does what Sunburst does is um, makes this weather sunny at the start of the battle, and all of them have charging sun five, which changing weather is crucial again. Also, it's wise entry too, but there are like very few special rock types. I think Aerodactyl is one of them only, so like doesn't really matter. Earthquake from the Torco, not good again. We've got X Defense, all which doesn't matter either. Rock Tomb, lowering the speed, and Flame Wheel can cause a burn, which is not too good either. For the Houndoom, though, uh, burn again, you can cause it to flinch. You got Special Shield, which doesn't matter again because your wise entry, which you probably won't use a special rock type. And Heat Wave does AoE damage and has a chance to burn, which is not good. Bad thing about Arcanine here, full fire type, Sunny Day. So Arcanine would go for sunny day if the weather is not sunny or almost not sunny before the sink. So it's basically boosted by 1.5 again. Physical shoot is really annoying as well because you're probably using a physical attacker and if your moves do not crit, they do don't they don't do too much. Fire Fang can cause um, a flinch and a burn. Flare Blitz can um, burn as well and recall really, really doesn't matter because it has steadfast. One main thing again is changing the weather again. So many changing weather stages though. So I'd say this stage is relatively difficult again because of changing weather. It feels like we have to make a like a changing weather thing here. But you're in here, Arcanine. And Furlip is next. So for Infernape is real scary again because it has boosted special attack. Boosted special attack, which, mean, which means Inferno does a lot of damage. Fire Blast base 116, which is times 1.5, I think, just kills everything, which is not good. It also has Condition Shield, so you cannot go for a Sleep Chain Special Shield to prevent um, doing massive damage if you do not crit. Where on Fire, use a Post Sync, can raise its special attack up to plus 6 because it has. Grand Entry and Brainy Rush. So you can, in front of can get to max plus 6 special attack. Hostile Environment 4. So it's a 50 or 60% chance to burn your Pokemon. Not good again. Besides, it has Mind Games 9, which helps in front of to do even more damage. And um, F Fire Blast again, Heat Wave. Also, there's a lot of damage. But another thing I forgot to mention is piercing gates for all the Pokemon here, which means that move will never miss. So even if it's 85, even if it's 90, 
do not play with RNG, you have to face the 100% accuracy here. And board as the same with Ham Arm, which does a lot, and Fire Blast, and he went as well. I think this stage is actually rather difficult. But, here's the catch. It's actually free in a way. Oh, I think it's a man actually. So many people use Lusamine. And Lusamine just, or Leer, just crushes this stage pre-sync. If you have those two, I think it's almost free. But if you do not have those two, it's here. I'm putting it in the middle. I think it's meh. I'd say it's like, I, I would say it's well. But for Lusamine fans and Leer fans, it's free for you. I'm gonna put it in meh here. Mag Motor, another troublesome stage. Probably one of the hardest stages so far. With good form and rising tide, a bit like uh, cosplay Emmett's here. More stats raised, the power up the moves, and more the stat raised, the more the power up use the sync move. What I did is to do pre sync and let Swampert take on the Mag Motor pre before Mag Motor uses uh, the sync, which is not good. Another thing is this stage just discourages you to use special attackers because it is satisfied snarl, discourage two, which you get your special attack lowered every single time. Size as as mind games now to support the Mac Mortar as well. Flare Blitz, Iron Tail does a lot of damage, has a boosting training move to boost the stats of Mac Mortar to do even more damage. And Flare Blitz, Heat Wave does a lot of damage. But the Nine Tails has Shadow Ball, which can lower the special defense, it's not good. Wishing special attack all to boost the Mac Mortar again. We got Fire Blast, uh, has a chance to burn. And here we have a chance to burn also. But for here, they do not have Prison Gaze, so you can play with RNG here. But it's just really like 15% chance to miss, which is not good. Again, Mind Games 9 to boost the Mac Mortar here. And if you're not doing this pre sync, you're doomed. I feel like I feel like this is almost here. But again, so many people use Archie, uh, so many people use May. We got like series of Misty to Haze. I, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put it in here for myself. I think for myself is here. But for those who use Archie, I think it's almost here again. But like for me, I think it's well here. I think the Inferno can be rather easy as well, but it depends on what you have as well. But for me, I actually did 2.6k first try, and the second time we do it for week 5, I struggled a lot. So I'm putting a meta tough here, I'm gonna be meh. So yeah, really scary. I think Flint is actually really difficult, especially this stage, and the Inferno stage we just gone through with the Peace and Gaze and uh, Brain the Rush, Hostile Environment 4 here. So yeah, Flint is really one to take care of. Lucian! Lucian, we got Strobo, Giraffric, Bronzong, and Glade! Strobo is first. We got Razor Shell, which can lower defense, send headbutt, a chance to flinch, physical shoot, and dire hit plus. So dire hit plus is only used after the sink, which isn't too troublesome, because you can probably deal with the slow bro before slow bro second sink here. One thing to note is wide entry and pinpoint entry too. So slow bro's moves will probably not miss, and you're not suggested to use Karen and Houndoom or the Dark Ride. Jinx, Icy Wind, Psychic, um, Blizzard can deal a lot of damage, but again depends on how you use. X special attack out really doesn't matter here because Slowboard is a physical. Physical, right? Let me just check. Yep, physical, so it doesn't matter. Starmie has um, Twister, has a chance to flinch. So X Speed All, Swift, AoE damage, and Surf, AoE damage. So, and Wise Entry is also. I think this stage is rather easy, even though we haven't tried Master Mode when I'm recording this. I think this stage is not too difficult. I'm putting it meh. I'm putting it very tough anyway. Glade's next. Note Glade is a fighting type boss, not psychic. Drain Punch, Psybeam, Dazzling Gleam, Coverage. Dazzling Gleam is real coverage here because some of those flying types like uh, Evolto, 
And yeah, people, some people use the Voltal and Sweet Fairy, which caused him some troubles. And has close combat with Fanfare, Stink Freebie, and Build Up. So Lucian has a guaranteed close combat crit. Oh, and that's Vigilance. And there is no move queuing here. You have to go. Uh, the Glades close combat will go immediately, which is not good. With the size, I think the size of Rider Week here with Rock Smash. Swift and just I don't know why Swift. This is not so good. Eggy for the Eggy, Budos can do a lot of damage. Giga Drain can be troublesome uh, with uh, here's some HP, X defense, or maybe helping out with the physical moves like uh, Nate and Bravery, Faulkner, and Budos. Just doing AOE damage is not good overall with lowering the speed. This say seems hard. One thing to note is it has less confusion five and less confusion flinch, less flinch five, less paralysis five, which is good. So I think it's in between. I think it's here because one of the reasons is a uh, blue gear. Blue gear just crushes all flying type stages now. So I think it's met here. This stage could have been harder, but for now is man. I think it's too tough. This stage can be really depending. I think it's tough. I had some trouble with um, Blade here. Oh boy. My least favorite psychic type Pokemon. Girafric. Oh, I, I hate Broxish as well, but like, I don't like Girafric as well. Like, this thing just creeps me out. I don't know why. Why entry again? So, uh, stop you from using like your. Berg stops you using from using Alder, which most people use Alder. But the upside is some people use Crossley Emmet, some people use Guzma, some people use Lusamine. So if you're using those, you're probably fine. For moves, Hyper Voice can do a lot of damage, AoE, Zen Headbutt can flinch, re read it and weep. If you're not doing this, uh, if you cannot take out the Giraffe in two sinks, it raises the user's critical hit rate by 2, which is not good. So you have to be careful with this, or you will be fine. For the side, it has FB, or I call Focus Blast, can do a lot of damage. Thunder does a lot of damage as well. And Psychic, it's um, individual damage, but it can hit real hard. For the Alakazam, Zen Headbutt to flinch again, Dazzling Gleam to do AoE damage, and Swift to do AoE damage. Which is scary. But yeah, Alexam has some real good um, special attack as well. So, um, that has to be careful as well. This stage is just strange because it depends on your bug types. Literally, Cosplay Emmet crushes this stage. If you don't have Emmet, if you don't have a physical striker, it's almost here again. I'm giving it a middle here, I'm putting a meh. I'm putting a meh because I feel like Guzman can deal with the stage. And I know a lot of you guys have actually I have access to cost the Emmet. So here you go. Matt here. Bonzong. Which like go stages are like so easy. Earthquake, Zen Hibbert Rock to should have should have had something else here. Maybe had a steel move, iron head, aggravation. I don't know why. And X attack all. We got a physical shield. The Metagross also has Zen headbutt and rock tomb, rock slide, which can cause some flinch, some flinch issues. Sigilith has air ace, has side beam, and icy wind. But like I don't, I honestly, ghost stages are always easy because. It's free here anyway. Because even you don't have Giratina, even you don't have um, Lunana, Morty EX actually is really, really good. It can 1v3 that entire stage. So like, I don't really want to go in depth to the stage, but if you think it's not easy, maybe it's like a low man. I think it's free overall and most people are able to deal with it. So, so far we have Welp with Vespiquid and Magmortar, tough with Drapion, Rhyperior, Needle King, 
Arcanine in front of Anglais, Matteo with Heracross, Hippowder, Slowbo, and Giraffic, and Free Fawn Zone. Last but not least, we have Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia! Where is Cynthia? Here. Okay, Cynthia, spare two. Um, I actually should make one more tier at a row below. Spirit Tomb, Porygon Z, Togekiss, and Garchomp. Starting off with you, Spirit Tomb. One issue of Spirit Tomb is why is entry again? So you cannot use the Dianta, you cannot use your uh, Lunala. The best way to deal with this is actually Summer Marnie, which if you do not have Summer Marnie, you are like literally punished. So, another thing is the Dazzle and Outsmart 9. Lowest accuracy of one when you when it uses when it enters the battle, and if you miss an attack, Spirit Tomb's special attack is raised by one, which is not good. Ominous Wind can have Omni Boost. Snarl can lower your special attack, and Shadow Ball lowering your special defense, which does not help you with the stage. <sighs> X special attack all really annoying, and Excavation, so you're bound to miss a few moves. For Umbreon, Snarl again, Snarl again, lowering the special attack. It's literally forcing you to use physical physical uh, users and Dark Post of Flinch. For the Absol, again, Brutal Swing, Rock Slide. Um, again, AoE damage causes Flinch chances, really annoying. I think a lot of people have problems with this stage. I think it's almost here. I think it's here. Unless you have Summer Marnie, or like you use Cosplay Emmet, or like Cosmic Dinosaur, this stage is annoying as heck. It's over there. Z. I think it's free actually. I honestly think Porygon Z is free. But I, I, let me think about this first. For Porygon Z, we to fighting. Try attack. Psybeam and Thunderbolt. Raises special attack. X speed all. X defense all. One thing it has is ramming speed. So the more speed it has, the the more output damage it has, which is scary. And it also has last dash 4. So it raises the speed by 4 when it's in a pinch, which gets Cynthia to plus 6, which is annoying. Also has Dazzle 1, which means you're about to miss a move or so again. And this combat 4 has a 50% chance of rolling the target's accuracy by 1 stat when the user's attack move is successful. A ripple effect as well. So a lot of lower accuracy problems. Stalin has Giga Impact, annoying, and deals a lot of damage after Sync. Stalin has Earthquake, AoE damage, not good again. Bites can flinch is a problem. Speed drops from the side is a problem. And yeah, this thing has rip Ripple Effect as well. This has a Ripple Effect as well. So it's everyone lowering the speed and everyone lowering the accuracy. It's actually here because RNG is a problem here. Toe Gay Kiss. Doesn't make sense at all. This stage does not make sense at all. Because they actually ruined Togekiss. The first ever fairy stage. They actually just used Fire Blast, really? Fire Blast for like Hostile Environment 4. Just don't copy Flint, come on. This is like disappointment. Evasion Rush, raise the evasion by 3 after using a Sync move. But probably you're gonna poison Sync anyway, so does that matter? Outsmart 9, just don't attack the Togekiss. Just don't attack the Toga Kiss, let it poison stall, let it die, and it's less poison 7. So like this tank can go down really quickly. And yeah, honestly, this doesn't really matter. X special attack all, you can just heal your Sigmore the tank. But this is just poison it before uh, before the sink, and it doesn't really matter. God of War has Fire Punch as well, which has Hostile Environment 2 and Dirty Fighting 2, which can do some decent damage. Same with the Claybow, which has um, Fire Punch, which can do a lot of damage, especially if your tanker is burnt. But like, this stage could have been more creative and more useful. It could have been weak to something else. Let Mr. Mime be weak to Unpoison. That would be a good idea. Last but not least, Garchomp. Garchomp. 
To be honest, Gold Time is such a disappointment again. Rock Tomb, Brutal Swing, and Earth King. You could have had a Dragon move instead of Brutal Swing. And there should be Stone Edge here, but I don't know why it's not here. There should have been a Dragon move. Don't know why. It's managed to find races speed and critical rate by two, but plus two crit rate when it's a sandstorm. Depends on your parameters. It can be good, it can be bad. X attack or breed doesn't frighten me at all. Because we have too many dragon types. Iris, we got seems that Leon, we got Cyrus, free to play, Lucas and Dialga, we got Serena, which is insane OP. And Flygons. Rockside, Crunch, Earthquake, Three that's unfrightened because you probably can take out them very quickly. Earthquake can be scary. Crunch can lower the, the can lower the defense, which is scary as well. The Flygon or uh, with the Ace Trainer, female Ace Trainer. Earth Power can be scary, Brutus can be scary. Um, speed drop is a problem. Special defense drop is a problem as well. And this thing doesn't just this thing is just no. Nah. Just a, just a big disappointment because they could have made this stage way more harder. They could have done this for Fairy Week. Fairy Week for Garchomp. Oh yeah, but it has to be Dragon Week. They could have done something more interesting, I'd say. But like, that's it for the ranking. Um, Turret Kiss doesn't make sense. Well, with Vestaquid, Magmortar, and um, Spirit Tomb. Tough with Drapier, Rhyperior, Needle King, um, Arcanine, Infernape, and Glade. Man tier with Heracross, Hippowdon, Stobro, Drafric, and Porygon Z, and free tier with Bronzang and Garchomp. I'm sorry, Bronzang, and I'm sorry, Garchomp, but you guys are the weaklings, and Turkish should have been better. These three stages have to need to have improvements, actually. And yeah, that's it for the video, and thanks for the 900 subs, and thank you for subscribing. Hope you guys will enjoy my content, and we're almost there for 100,000. We're almost there for 1,000 subs. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you and like the video if you haven't and join the Discord in the link in the description below. And I'll see you in another video. See ya.